And good evening. We are in the storm watch here at the Campus Weather Service. But first things first, let's start with a look at today, which was a sunny but frigid day here in Happy Valley. A look at our time lapse toward Mount Nittany. You can actually see the snow covering the mountain. We have about six or seven inches on the ground up there on Mount Nittany. And it certainly was a sunny day today, but definitely on the cold side. Temperatures early this evening, uh, mainly in the 20s in central Pennsylvania, but as cold as 14 in Johnstown and 9 in Bradford. So there is plenty of Arctic air to work with for our next storm system. And in fact, it only gets colder here tonight. Low temperatures dropping down to the single digits near zero here in State College. And in fact, a couple of the outer lying towns and boroughs in the county may be below zero by tomorrow morning. Then our focus shifts to our south. You can see the weather is fairly quiet here in Pennsylvania. Clouds, especially in uh, western and northern parts of the state. But the major weather story is a significant winter storm affecting the southern part of the nation anywhere through the Carolinas, stretching back down through Atlanta and down to the south. It is this second piece that's going to be moving toward Atlanta tomorrow and then up the eastern seaboard into the day on Thursday. And that is going to be causing problems, especially if you're traveling by air over the course of the next couple of days. So in terms of the impact on that storm during the day tomorrow, the majority of the wintry weather will be well to our south down here through the southeast. An ice storm likely in parts of Georgia and into the Carolinas and snow on the north end, rain on the south end. This storm then moves to the north as this zone of high pressure retreats as we work our way into the day on Thursday. Now the storm's exact path is critical to this forecast, but at this time it appears the heaviest of the snow will be in southeastern Pennsylvania during the day on Thursday. If this storm center tends to move a bit to the east, then th these snow bands would be dragged a bit to the east. Conversely, if it tends to track closer to the coastline, then we would see more snow here in central Pennsylvania. So there are two distinct scenarios, snowy and not so snowy for us here in State College. And that's quite clear in terms of the watches and warnings. Southeastern Pennsylvania being monitored right now by the Weather Service. In fact, a winter storm warning now includes Philadelphia, Lancaster, in York, a winter storm watch to the north of there, meaning that these zones have the best chance of over six inches of snow. You can see some of the uncertainty that we're talking about here in State College among our computer models. This is the forecast from four different computer models for State College, and they range from as little as an inch or two to as much as over six. So at this time, our best projection from the Campus Weather Service is anywhere in between one and four inches for State College. There will be a sharp difference, though, on the northwestern edge of this. So if the storm tracks closer, then we would have to drag these bands to the northwest. And if it tracks further south, then there would be lesser amounts of snow, and the majority of it would be to our east and southeast. But at this time, it appears to be an 8 to 14 inch snowstorm for southeastern Pennsylvania, and there may be a couple of higher amounts, four to eight inches from Harrisburg through the Lehigh Valley into the Poconos. And again, here in State College, the current projection is one to four inches, but I can assure you we will have updates on this forecast during the day tomorrow as the storm's path becomes more clear. Seven day forecast shows that behind that uh, we actually turn a bit milder here on Friday. Temperatures in the upper 30s with uh, mostly cloudy skies and then a weak clipper system comes down on Saturday that may bring us another round of flurries and light snow to begin the weekend. That's our forecast for now. Again, stay with us as we continue to track the storm over the next couple of days.